drill, right. pretty much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they do prepare. They definitely yeah. heed the warnings. And, you know, we are anticipating that this one's going to be a major hurricane, potentially a Category 4 storm wow. before it makes mm. landfall. Just to give you an idea, right now it's a Category 1 storm. It has 85 mile per hour winds. So there's your scale. We get up to 96. We bump it up to a Category 2. Category 3, which is expected to become by Friday, we're looking at over 100. 11 mile per hour winds and then category four would put it in that 130, 140, even 150 mile per hour wind zone. So what does that mean? Well, when you're dealing with a category four storm, you're talking about destruction from the winds, also from the water. Classify this as catastrophic damage with most trees down, power, water out for weeks. So they are preparing for that. It is forecast to be a category four storm when it makes landfall in Florida, which may be later than Sunday at this point with the latest track. The coastal impacts for North Carolina, there could be at least a few showers along the coastline by Sunday, but the greatest impacts right now appear to be to our south over Florida, Georgia, as well as South Carolina. And Dorian may track northward along the North Carolina, Virginia coast, or even into the central parts of the Carolinas by middle part of the week next week, and then linger into next weekend. That's a possibility from the latest track. Now, in the meantime, we've got gorgeous weather here with that front offshore. It is beautiful from the coast to the mountains and temperatures this afternoon in the low 80s. Our high at 83, our morning low at 61. We're going to keep this less humid air around. 82 in Greensboro, 84 in Danville, 81 right now in North Wilkesboro. Dew points are down into the 50s, so we've got very dry air in place. This evening, it cools quickly once the sun goes down. Those temps are dropping into the low to mid 60s. And by early tomorrow morning with clear sky, Guys, very pleasant. And for some of you, maybe a touch cool. 55 in the mountains and 59 tomorrow morning as we start the day in the triad. Beautiful Friday for you. We're at 82 by noon, so we're already pretty close to today's high by noontime tomorrow. So, yes, tomorrow's going to be hotter at 88 light to calm winds, but still low humidity. So it will be hot in the sun, but not too terribly humid. 86 tomorrow afternoon for the foothills and for the mountains. Our highs up to about 78 degrees by late tomorrow. High pressure pushing in that front helping to kind of scoop up air and as forecast and push it right on up the coast. Now for Dorian, you see the storm here. It is a category one storm still at 85 mile per hour winds. It has double eye walls right now, so concentric eye walls. Oh, they were found that when they did fly in there just a little bit ago. They're also finding that it's not technically any stronger yet, but will likely become stronger as it moves over very warm waters in the Caribbean. Now you notice that the radar imagery, yeah, we've lost that because we are far away from land. There aren't radars out in the middle of the ocean, but you can still see some rain down there over Puerto Rico. This category one storm with the latest track potentially becoming a major hurricane by tomorrow afternoon and then staying a major hurricane by Saturday afternoon, missing to the northeast, the central and the southern Bahamas. But the northwestern Bahamas are in play here as potentially this one moves over or near them by Sunday. And then we're looking at it possibly slowing down into that Monday, Tuesday time frame, but maybe making landfall Monday as a category four storm anywhere between the tip of Florida all the way up to the Georgia coast. When we go out to day four and five, there is a margin of error of about 150 to 200 miles. So there can be huge changes with the outlying periods of this track and there likely will be. Here's one of the things that's coming into play. This big ridge of high pressure that's sitting out here. Notice how it's gotten stronger by that brighter red there. Stronger and building west prevents this storm from moving north. So that's when we get that turn to the west. Then it's going to weaken a little bit. You get a little troughiness, so it has some room here and it's going to start to push inland over Florida and then potentially make a turn in the weakness that is between these two areas of high pressure. So it may slow down and sort of stall. So we have to prepare for that. And of course, the computer models are also looking at that as an option. Some of them making the turn a little faster. Some of them sort of making that turn all at once and then pushing it up over Virginia as well as South Carolina. For our area, you're looking at some rain Saturday afternoon along the South Carolina coast. You're looking at rain over South Carolina on Sunday. You're looking at some rain along the coast on Monday as well as Tuesday. For us, it looks like we are going to be dry on this current forecast track at least until the middle part of next week. We'll keep you up to date. All right, thank you so much.